Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com Well it's been a long summer break, a full four weeks in Cape Verde you can see it was quite warm over there, I've got a tan. And this, this vlog is about something that was brewing before I went because I was doing some one-to-ones with someone who's having difficulty longer distance swimming in terms of comfort and breathing. And so we've been trying to get him to relax and be more comfortable in the water. And I think this applies to a lot of triathletes. My view is that breathing is the problem in all major strokes. If you can breathe comfortably, you're well on your way to doing something slowly for long distances and even fast for long distances and very fast for short distances. Once you learn how to breathe and where to breathe, you've virtually conquered any stroke. But this is particularly true of longer distance swimmers and triathletes. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you exactly what I mean. This swimmer has a particular problem of feeling himself out of control after he starts a long swim. And what I want you to notice here is the speed with which he gets his head back into the water, the speed with which he takes a breath. You see there, he literally takes a breath and, and shoves his head back in the water really quickly. And that means he's not getting comfort in his swim. And that's One of the factors affecting his comfort is the speed he's bringing his arm over um, when on recovery. So his arm's coming in really fast and that isn't giving him time to actually take a breath and really comfortably inhale all he needs to inhale. He's already exhaling as he's coming in the water so he's really gasping a breath and then immediately he's back in exhaling again. Now if, you, if you're exhaling like that you haven't taken enough breath in to satisfy your lungs and make sure that you're actually going to have a comfortable swim. As you go long... Now a drill we had this swimmer do is the shark fin and extended shark fin drill. This is the extended shark fin drill, fin drill that you see here. And you can see what happens is the swimmer rotates to the side as the stroke is finished and takes a breath while the arm is travelling up or the hand is travelling up from the thigh all the way to the underarm and then the arm goes back down as the head goes into the water so that happens and then the swimmer strokes to the other side and does exactly the same again now that is teaching someone to breathe in the right place in front crawl so you can see there up down head in and stroke and here's another swimmer doing the drill really well. You can see it's effectively turn and breathe and you've got all the time whilst that arm's coming up, whilst the arm's coming all the way to the underarm, you've got time to breathe. That's giving yourself the time to breathe you need. And this is the drill that finally cemented this breathing uh, with this swimmer. And what we're doing is single arm with pull boy. And you can see we're grabbing the water out front, driving through to the exit. We're really pushing back on the water, turning to breathe, but breathing while the arm recovers and then going back in the water. That's hugely important. It's going to come back with the other arm. So we're, doing, we're breathing to both sides on this. And you can see it's slowly but surely getting more and more comfort as he travels along. He's breathing to the left here with the left arm and he's going to be breathing to the right as he comes back the other way. And as he comes back you can see his comfort growing and it's really a nice relaxed stroke suddenly. He's giving himself time to breathe which in longer distance swims is hugely important. Okay so when you're breathing in front crawl it's hugely important to breathe and give yourself enough time to actually get a huge breath in. And you can see here that from the time the head turns, which is right at the back of the stroke, when the hand's at the back of the stroke, the head turns, you've got a lot of time to breathe in, and then the head can come back into the water as the arm starts to pass the shoulder. And that is good timing and good breathing. It means you've got enough breath to actually swim comfortably without getting out of breath and feeling like you shouldn't be there. Now that video, the one with the single arm, uh, was taken just before I went on holiday and it's been reported to me that 
this swimmer has been swimming longer distances with much more comfort and much more even speed. We're going back to one to ones in a short while, so I will report back to you. But effectively, you saw that incredible relaxation that occurs when you know that you can breathe easily within the stroke. When you don't know that, you're in trouble. Now note, everything you start to do, you have to start to do slowly. You might be saying about that last clip, well, he was swimming really slowly. That's not surprised he was in comfort. But that's not true. He would normally not be comfortable because he would be taking a short breath and getting his head back into the water. And that happens with a lot of you. You must do something slowly and then we can speed you up. Doing something in the right timing will actually really help you in the long run. It's worth taking time at a slow pace to actually do it correctly because then you can slowly but surely speed that up and that'll help you in your swimming. Okay, that's really it for this week. It'll be something new next week. Remember, like and subscribe if you found this useful. That's really helpful to the channel and it enables me to know that things are actually going in the direction you want them to go. Have a great week. Enjoy your training. Enjoy your swimming. Enjoy your triathlon. Keep well.